prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Bosete Himalanda, ma bosse ika koka brekete kalaboba. Mary dara mandere chopo imasete le. Sherry ma Sherry ma ma Sherry dara ma Sherry ma. Le kepo soto ika kabadoska. La da baba da da ima kote ika bati kete ha halunde yama. Broka kata ima soke zeblekea. Broko teke bo, broko teke, broko poseke ima ma. Jendeke reka kosa kata ima moke hela. Raba la basa kata ima ma shaka bo, raka ba shaka ba zata ko. Broko koko soto koko koko soto. Bro breke te ima. Yebre la kaka ba soto ke. Ima broski, ima ba broski, ima ba broski. Ma shete ima. Lo koka ba zata. Bo de ye ma seta ima ko. Bo koko soto kebe. Yebre de ye. ma <laughs> Shake it, bossa. Ma kapasa ta la ba, ma kapasa ka. La kapasa ta ka, la kapasa ta. La kapra ka sa ta, la kapra ka. La kapra sa ta, la kapra. Ma kaproko, yo lo lo bossa de i mama. Shake it, ma boss, ma ba boss, ma ba boss, ma ba ba boss, ma ba ba boss. Mo kroko, kru ta kapasa ke, kru ka. Shake poke, 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 poke. Mi ba bossa de i mama. Leke breke, leka ba. Shata ta ba ba, shata ta ba ba ba, shata ta ba 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 ba. Shut up, Baba Baba Baba. Shut up, Baba Baba Baba. Shut up, Baba Baba Baba. Shut up, 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 Baba Baba. Shut up,
Essayi kati kali kababa zodo jide ma kote ke basatani mama jide rokopleke na la la basoto lique jide ma kapos la la kapos la mama ma brebe ne la mama breke ne babra babel ne bra baba beke ne babra babel ne kabre babel ne kabre babel ne kabre ke babel ne kabre ke breke bro koko koko breke breke koko breke ke breko bre breke bre 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 ma kapo kaka ma kapos ma kapos mama matu Oh, la mleka basata yi mama. Oh, precious father, we thank you because we are confident in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you because we have gathered in your name. And unto that name shall the garden of your children be. We are confident that we will make it. We thank you because we know we have made it. We thank you because we are always making it. We thank you because we know with you, O oh Lord, we are confident of the him that we serve. It's not of him that runneth of willing, but he that showeth mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for showing mercy unto your children. Thank you for showing mercy unto this nation. Thank you for your mercy on your people. Thank you for being there for us when we call upon thee. Thank you for being there, Lord Jesus. When we know with you, we have confidence in Christ Jesus. We thank you because Christ in us is the hope of glory. I am grateful, oh Lord. Go ahead, go ahead. I am grateful, oh Lord, for all, for all you have done.
that has kept you and preserved you and protected you. The Lord has protected you. The Lord has preserved you. The Lord has helped you. The Lord has healed your body. Thank you, Jesus. We are thankful, Lord. We are thankful, Lord. We are thankful, Lord. We are thankful, Lord. We praise your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be adored. Worthy to be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come and do robo shika tarababaha. See all the man do robo selegetish. Santo kobodi amasanda ha. Yeri arababa. Ribo si ala mande rebo sakata baha. Si katarabahande. Oh ya kabababaha. We are grateful. Karabosanne, <laughs> Liba da capra dunia megedesh, rebo salamandesh, rebo salamandesh, rebo salamandesh, rebo salamandesh, imanda gaba, imanda gaba, imando robo saha, imanda gabo salabaha, sakota labaha, sandele gebush, sia rabada, sante kebori arababush, imanda rabada kata, sayabaha. So le boho ko boho, si ala manda haya, sakote le boho, sala mahande la bush, si ala mande le boho kete, sanda la gaboshi ata ha, ribo loko te maha ha, sara bata kata, sara bata kete te, sala bata kaya baha, sari bata haya, open your mouth and pray. Believe God to move in your life. Believe God to move in your circumstances. Believe God to move in your family. Salamande lege de bosha. Sari bada haya. Sande lege bohos. Sakata baha. Sande lege bosh. Ribada haya. Mama Elizabeth. Si alama handolo bosh. Si katara baha. Santa kabosha la baha. Salabodi amahata. Sal open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Believe God. Let God move in your life. Let God move. Let God move. Maruba salabahaya. Makandaria kasiandaria siarata. Nobody told you to stop yet. Nobody told you the drummers. I want to hear your voice. The keyboardists. I want to hear your voice praying. The choir, I want to hear your voice on the microphone, praying, exalting the name of our God. If the Lord have not been on our side, if the Lord have not protected us, I want you to lift up your voice. I don't want the instrument to take your place. I do not desire hand clapping to take your voice. I want your voice to be heard before your Redeemer. Before your maker, lift up your voice in adoration. Lift up your voice in thanksgiving. Lift up your voice in appreciation. Exalt him because of who he is. Exalt him because of what he has done. Oh, Maluaria Paswenderia Swekwa. Epa Maluanderia Katiendere Ketiara Kata. E Mandara Babrama Makatiandara Para. If the Lord have not been on our side, if the Lord have not been on our side, glorious is his faithfulness. He is without injustice. Good and upright is our God. Lift up your voice. Thank him for the breath of life. Thank him for the last Sunday of December. Thank 
asking for the last Sunday of the year that you are alive to see this day. You have prayed to see this day. Acknowledge him for what he has done. Acknowledge him in the life of your family. Exalt him in the life of your children. Thank the Lord for your spouse. Thank him for your job. Give him thanks for your health. Give him thanks that he has given us mouth to praise him. I say exalt him. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Exalt the name of our God. George, the chair will not praise God for you. The instruments will not praise the Lord for you. Your mouth will praise the Lord. He says, let everything that has breath. Do you have the breath of life in here? Open your mouth and begin to acknowledge him. Thank him for what he has done over the years. Give him praise because he is God. E palwa katwendere kasiala. E makalwanda ni abrama masuela kaswara. E pambara baba abrama masinda la paswela. E makalwanda ni abrama masiala kasiala. E pama katiandere pepele mama siandere la paswara. Uri abama abrama malwanda ni abrama ba. E malwari abama malwanda ni abrama masiandere ba. In the name of Jesus. Let me encourage you in a place of prayer at the early hours of this morning. A lot of us, I found a lot of us in the dungeon. When I mean dungeon, it was in a bottomless pit. And there was no place to return. There was no place to come out. It was not possible to come out. But I saw the hand of the Lord. Say, I am seeing the hand of the Lord. Say, I am seeing the hand of the Lord. And what happened in that revelation as I collected everybody and any gate I came out the man at the gate with his hand willingly opened the door and we came out and we were coming out there were nearly up to six doors six dungeon and when we come out I thought we have completely come out I didn't know that when we come out it is still another door say it is still another door Say it is still another door. But say, but my God. 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 My Redeemer. My Redeemer. My Deliverer. When I come, when I came to the last door, the man at the gate, he bowed down and he willingly. Say, say he's willingly. Say he willingly. Say he willingly. Say he willingly. He let me go. Say he let me go. I'm going with my children. I am going with my wife. I am going with my husband. I am going with everything I have. Say I am going. I am going. I am going. I am going to serve Jesus. I am not leaving any hoof. Say, I'm not leaving anyone behind. I am not leaving anyone behind. We are all going. You can wait. We are all going. Now begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him thanks. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? He redeemed you. Aren't you glad? He saved you. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? You are unstoppable. Aren't you glad? You are victorious. Begin to give him thanks. Your children are coming out. Your spouse are coming out. Your inheritance are coming out. The will of God for your life, you're taking them. Say, I am taking them. I'm taking them back. I am taking them back. All of them. All of them. I am taking them back. Eluaria Swandarata. Oria Katia Katiara. Emma Kaliandara Katiara. E Baba Baba Bra 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 Bra. Emma Luaria Babra Mama. Makalandere Kesiata. Oria Kasiandere Katiara. Oh, hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus what will you do what will you do if Jesus is sitting right in front of you now and say to you everything you need in life I am here to give it to you what will you do can you tell me what you I, be, I want you to begin to play it out say we're going to do what will you do begin to say it as will you just stand there down like Lucas said no 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 will you just fold your hands if Jesus Christ is sitting in front of you he has come to deliver I say he has come with a delivery in his hands I say Papa is here to give you the delivery he is here to deliver you the delivery stretch your hands and begin to receive her. stretch out your hands and begin to receive her. receive your children receive your inheritance receive your property receive your health receive your peace receive your joy if you believe it and you believe it and you know you have believed it I want you to give a shout that uproots this roof give him a shout give him a shout give him a shout a shout of victory 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 Lift your hands and give God praise and glory. Give God glory. Salamano, Ribaba. Give God glory. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Give Him praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Salamando, Sakatarabando, Sandalagabo Salababa, Sakatarabari Madakatata, Sarabataka Mande. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are praying for you, everyone watching with us on the television, on the YouTube, on the Facebook, wherever you are watching. The prayer anointing is coming to you. The fire is coming to you. We release the power of God. We release anointing. We release the deliverance. We release the freedom. Receive it. In the name of Jesus, receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Hagabo Salamahaya. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Take your seat and welcome somebody by your side knock on that person's person's hand and say you're welcome in the name of Jesus hallelujah I welcome you in the name of Jesus thank you thank you amen and amen thank you Jesus praise God Almighty how many of you are happy to be here after you have eaten all your chicken and your and your turkey and lambs praise god you ate and drank we welcome you back in the name of jesus amen and amen let's open to the book of romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 i want to thank god for grace given to us Grace. Somebody say grace. God has given us grace. Praise God. And we cannot but give thanks to his name. Praise God. Those at home who could not come, I'm glad you are watching by the Facebook or YouTube, whichever one you are watching. There's no distance in the realm of the spirit. All we encourage you is tune in. Switch on your spiritual antenna and allow God to speak to you. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. People like this ministry of the envelopes. Kabaria Masataya. That's okay. <laughs> All right, round it up. Romans chapter 8, what does he say? There is therefore now no condemnation, no condemnation to those, to those who, are in Christ who are in Christ Jesus. I want you to know this. There is now no condemnation. Praise God. For those who are in Christ Jesus. No condemnation. Yes. Who do not walk according to the flesh. Who do not walk according to the flesh. But walk but according to the spirit. So, that statement is a qualified statement. I can preach a powerful message by saying to you, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. If I stop there, you can run away with it. But it is a qualified statement because out of that statement, he gave you two conditionalities. Those who do not walk According to the laws of the flesh, the works of the flesh, no condem those who do not walk according to the laws of the flesh, no condemnation. Is that correct? But those that walk after the flesh, there is what? I want you to I want us to understand that. Read it again, please. There is therefore now there is therefore now no condemnation. No condemnation to those to those who are in Christ Jesus. Who are in Christ Jesus. Who do not walk according to the flesh. Who do not walk according to the flesh. flesh. Yes. But according to the spirit. According to the spirit. Yes. So those that walk after the flesh. Those that do not walk according to the spirit. There is condemnation for them. And yet they are in Christ. Is that correct? Church, I want you to know this. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ who walk not according to the word flesh, but according to the spirit. It means that those who are in Christ who walk according to the flesh, not according to the spirit, there is condemnation. Is that correct? Help me and tell somebody, say, help yourself. You know, many of us believe that if you are in Christ, therefore, there is no further standard you need to maintain. There is no further requirement you need to maintain. It's not true. Scripture cannot lie. And anybody living a life outside scripture, you have to write your own scripture and follow it. Read it again. There is therefore now. There is therefore now. No condemnation. No condemnation. To those who are in Christ. To those who are in Christ Jesus. Who do not walk. Who do not walk. According to the according flesh. According to the flesh. But according to the spirit. But according to the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So. The word of God is pure. It's written. It's sanctified. It's settled in heaven forever and forever. If we follow after the word of God, you are in a safe place. There is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh, but walk according to the spirit. Those who walk according to the flesh, outside the spirit, there is also a judgment. Praise God. Read on. For the law of the spirit of life. For the law of the spirit of life. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Has made me free. Has made me free. From the law of sin. From the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. So if I live and walk. According to the word and the spirit. There is life that it produces. Hallelujah. Please read again. <laughs> For the law of the spirit of life. For the law of the spirit of life. In Christ Jesus. There is life that comes from being in Christ Jesus. There is a life that it brings. The law of life of the spirit in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and what? Death. Somebody say I'm delivered. I am set free. 
from the law of sin from the bondage of sin from the law of death by my knowledge in Christ Jesus fellowship in Christ Jesus obedience to the word of God I have a new life the life of Christ is in me if you believe you say hallelujah if you believe you say hallelujah Woo, glory to God read it again powerful scripture for the law of the spirit of for the life, law of the spirit of life in Christ in Jesus Christ Jesus has made, has me, made me free from the law from the law of sin of and sin death. and death yes for what the law could not do for what the law could not do in that it was weak in that it was weak through the flesh through the flesh God did God did by sending his own by son by sending his own son in the likeness of in sin, the likeness of the sinful flesh on account of on sin, account of sin he condemned sin he condemned the sin in the flesh, flesh. oh glory to God yes that the righteousness requirement that the righteous requirement of the law of the law might be fulfilled might be fulfilled in us, in us who do not walk according to who the flesh who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit according to the spirit look at somebody and say to him you are delivered but deliver yourself hallelujah deliverance has already been what given but God cannot impose it on you. You are the one to choose to deliver yourself. You have a right. There are two ways. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus means you walk away from the works of the flesh. You run away from the works of what? The flesh. And you run after the, the works of the spirit. Hallelujah. Read on. Five. Yes. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh those that walk after the flesh they have no further interest their mind is set on the works of what flesh. the flesh yes but those who live according to the spirit but those that live according to the spirit the things of the spirit the things of the spirit but to be carnally minded to be fleshly minded to be fleshly or carnally to be fleshly minded is death is death but to be spiritually minded but to be spiritually minded is life and peace hallelujah look at someone said him do you want life and peace <laughs> hallelujah set your mind on the things of the spirit okay let's look a little bit on the works of the flesh the works of the flesh galatians galatians Woo, glory to God. Galatians chapter 5, let's look at five, verse 16. Is that correct? Galatians 5, 16. Yes. I said then. I said then. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yes. For the flesh lost against the spirit. The flesh is struggling against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. And the spirit is warring against the flesh. And these are contrary to one Both another. Both of them are contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that you wish. So that you do not do the things that you want. Wish. You wish. It's not what I wish. It's not the things I think or the things I feel. There are things that are of God and there are things that are of the flesh. Read on. And they are contrary to one another. They are fighting. You know, sometimes when I look at it, you have a flesh, you are a spirit living together but fighting against one another. Look at somebody and say to him, there's a war in my members. <laughs> there is a war taking place in my members. Hey, read on. 19. Uh -huh. Now the works of the flesh Now the works of the flesh are evident. evident. So he's saying this is their evidence. Uh-huh. Which are 
which are which are adultery, adultery fornication, fornication, uncleanliness, uncleanliness lewdness, lewdness, idolatry, idolatry sorcery, sorcery, hatred, hatred contentions, contentions, jealousies, jealousies outbursts of, of wrath, selfish ambition, ambition dissension, heresies, envy, envy murder. murder Drunkenness, drunkenness rivalries, rivalries and, the like. and anything that looks like it anything that looks like this someone said the works of the flesh say it again say it again all right i want you to take note that if you study strongly on these things that are written <laughs> that some of this work of the flesh even though we are calling it work of the flesh, it's actually idol worship. Did you read it? Some of the things we have read there. The Bible calls them works of the flesh, but literally, they are simply a worship given to an idol, not God. Because whatever you render or offer, which God is not asking or desiring, but you are offering it to someone else, it's actually an idol. Praise God. Praise God. Please read again from verse 16. I said then. I said then. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. And you shall not fulfill. The, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lust against the spirit. If you are walking in the spirit. Your hunger and your thirst will not go towards the works of the flesh. If you are walking in the spirit, you will discipline yourself to be far away from the works of the flesh. Yes? But the flesh lost against the spirit. The flesh is lost in after the spirit. And the spirit against the and flesh. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to they one another. They are contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that So you, you don't go out and do the things that you desire or think and feel to do. Yes? But if you are led by the Spirit. If you are led by the Spirit. You are not under the law. You are not under the law. If you are led by the Spirit. If you are walking according to the Spirit. If you are following the word of God. No law. You are free. You are not even able to be judged by any. When you are living a spiritual life. When you are anchored on the fear of God. Walking in obedience to the word of God. Doing the things that pleases God. No one can easily judge you. Yes, read on. But if you are led by the spirit. If you are led by the spirit. You are not under the law. You are not under the law. Now, now, the works of the flesh, the are works evident, of the flesh are evident, which are which are adultery, adultery, fornication, fornication, uncleanliness, uncleanliness lewdness, lewdness, idolatry, idolatry sorcery, sorcery, hatred, hatred, contention, contention, jealousy, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, of wrath selfish, ambitions, selfish ambitions, selfish ambitions, dissensions. Heresies, heresies envy, envy murder, murder drunkenness, drunkenness rivalries, rivalries and, the like, and anything that looks like this of which i tell you before of I, which i have told you before just as i also told you in the time past i have also told you in the time past that those who practice such those things, who practice such things will, not inherit, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Those that practice such things, those things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Yes. But the fruit of the spirit. But is the fruit love. of the spirit is love. Is one love. Somebody say love. <laughs> yes. Joy. Somebody say joy. Peace. Somebody say peace. Long suffering. Say long suffering. Kindness. Somebody say kindness. Goodness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Gentleness. Self control. Self control. Against such. 
There is no law. When you have these fruits coming out of your life, when your life is producing this evidence, no law can hold you. No law can condemn you. No law can judge you. Hallelujah. Read it again. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Everybody repeat it. Joy. Peace. Long-suffering. Kindness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Self-control. Against such, there is no law. Against such, there is what? No law. Look at somebody said to him, free yourself. Say, Christ has already freed you. Free yourself. <laughs> Hallelujah. Remember what we read in Romans. He said, there is now therefore no condemnation for those who are what? In Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Meaning that those who are not walking according to the spirit are in condemnation already. And yet they may still be in Christ. Hallelujah. Do you know Jesus said that many call me Lord or Master with their mouth, but their hearts are far away from me. Jesus also said, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I know you not. Did the Bible not say that those who practice such things, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. Is that correct? Read verse 21. Envy. Envy. Murder. Murder. Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Rivalry. Rivalries. And the like. And anything that looks like it. Of which I, to I tell you before. I have told you this before. Just as I also told you in time past. I am telling you in the time past. That those who practice such things. Those that practice such things. Will not inherit the kingdom of God. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. Look at somebody and say to him, do not be deceived. Whatsoever a man soweth, that also he shall reap. He that soweth in the spirit, will of the spirit reap life. He that soweth in the flesh, will of the flesh reap corruption. Look at somebody that said to him, modify yourself by knowledge, by revelation, by understanding of the teachings of the word of God, which is able to save your soul. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Church, I want to tell you the place we are now in Christ, the time and the seasons that we are walking in. You need to live a life knowing that anything can happen any day. The trumpet of God can sound any time. Prophecies are being fulfilled. And Jesus said, like in the days of Noah. <laughs> like what? So shall the day of the Son of Man be. What was he talking about in the days of Noah? They were given to marriage. They were having their party. Having good time. Having their drink. Celebrating their flesh. Entertaining their flesh. They were doing that until Noah walked in into the ark. And God himself came and closed the door. Jesus spoke it. He said, as it was in the days of what? Noah. Can you get that for me? Uh, is that uh, Matthew? Wherever I find it, read it. Jesus himself prophesied. So, I want you to know that Jesus is coming back. If you are still living your life as if life will continue as normal, even in the natural, they are giving you that things are changing. If you don't know that things are also changing in the realm of the spirit, you are blind. Prophecies are being fulfilled. Things are changing. 
We are waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't put your life in order, Jesus said a lot of things. Have you found it? Please read for me. Luke 17, 26. Yes. And as it was in the days of Noah. As it was in the days of Noah. So it will be also. So it will be also. In the days of the Son of Man. In the days of the Son of Man. They ate. They ate. They drank. They drank. They married wives. They were married wives. They were given in marriage. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered until the ark. Until the day Noah entered the ark. And the flood came. And the flood came. And destroyed them all. And destroyed them all. Jesus couldn't tell a lie. Yes. Likewise. Likewise. As it was also as it was also in the days of Lot. In the days of Lot. They ate. They ate. They drank. They drank. They bought. They bought. They sold. They sold. They planted. They planted. They built. They built. But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom. On the day that Lot went out of Sodom and Gomorrah. It rained fire and brimstone. Fire and brimstone rained from heaven. And destroyed them all. And destroyed them all. Hallelujah. That is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Word of God, the Master, the Anointed One, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one whom God has given all power. I say all power, all authority is given to me. Jesus is the one speaking what we are reading. Hallelujah. And the other scriptures we have read, they are inspired by the Holy Spirit to give to us. Church, you can no longer experiment with your salvation. Your salvation, there is no more room for experiment because the time is very short. Nobody knows the day or the hour. Put your life in order. Run away from the works of the flesh. Run away, run away, run away. In fact, Jesus even went forward to say that in that very day, Two shall be on the bed. One will be taken. The other one will be left behind. Two people will be in the field. One will take off. The other one will be left behind. So if you have knowledge of these things, what manner of life ought you to live? If you know these things, you live a quiet life. A contented life. You focus your mind on Christ. You, you, you separate yourself from the world. There are people who are running towards the world as if they have discovered something new. <laughs> the world has been there all along. And God has existed all along. You know, there's something that happened to us students. When you, your parents drop you in the university and you enter the hostel. You run around and look around. Your parents is no more there. Nobody is influencing you. What you look is, is as if you have gained the whole world. You are free. It's like freedom has come from everywhere. Nobody can stop me now. Ain't no one stopping me now. But uh, before you spend three months, <laughs> you will begin to miss hope. Because now you have jumped in and tried to try everything that you want to try only to find out that some of the things are dead. Some children are destroyed three months after they leave their father's house or their mother's house to go to school. Not many of them. Because the first thing they feel is that we are free. Free. Free from what? <laughs> Any freedom that does not carry discipline and protocol leads to death. Any freedom you gain that has no discipline attached to it, oh, you are Kabasanda higher. Me, I nearly ran into the mouth of the devil. The devil opened their mouth for me to run in. I nearly ran in. Hey. But a day before, you know, it's good to have people that you listen to their message. Please, have people that you honor. If you don't honor people, people will honor will never come to you. Have people you honor. If possible, their word, honor them. I nearly, 
The devil's mouth was open like this, beckoning me to come. I was nearly swallowed. But a day before, <laughs> one of the men of God that I fear and honor was preaching. At the end of the preaching, he made a prayer. And the prayer was a rebuke. You know, <laughs> when a man of God is praying for you, you can lift your hand and say, Amen. You have said Amen for good or bad. Because in that prayer, he gave a counsel. He said, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. I said, amen. Now, exactly what he said, don't do, don't do, don't do. And I said, amen. The thing is looking at me now to do it. I said, God, but I have said, amen. If I do this thing now, the mass prayer is coming after me. <laughs> hey, God have mercy. Oh, you don't understand what I'm taking. You don't understand. Do people want to understand? Huh? Suppose you have made a decision to rebel and your father has prayed for you and said, I command all of you never to rebel. If you rebel, God will visit you with judgment. You said amen. And now rebellion is what, what, <laughs> saying to you, come, 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 come. And you are stepping towards it. You remember the prayer, you said amen. What will you do? If any of you don't have somebody prayer that you honor and fear, you do exactly what is in your mind, what you think, what you feel. You follow your own desire and your own thought. There is no restraint, no condition. You are just free. You are just like a student sent to the university the first three months. Wherever, they, wherever his fellow students want to go, he will follow. Everybody wants to get a friend in less than two minutes. Everybody wants to try a drink they have never tried before because they are free. But at the end, they will find out. Does any student bear me witness here? Anyone who has been to the... God bless you, daughter. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> it, will, it, won't, it won't take you three months, you realize. Maybe now you, you drink, you thought that drinking was good. When you come home, you vomit. <gasps> and you fall sick. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next day, no, your father is no more there. Your mother is no more there. Now, nobody will tell you that if you drink, you could actually what? Look away. I looked to somebody and said, him, run away from the works of the flesh. Run away from sin. Sin will kill you. Sin will take you to hell. And God has already enumerated all of them. Hallelujah. God has described it. Read for me again the works of the flesh. Read to me again the works of the flesh. Galatians. Yeah. For the nineteen, five nineteen. Now. The works of the flesh are. Now, the works of the flesh are evident. Everybody read it together. One, two, three, go. Now, the works of the flesh are evident. Which are idolatry, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, Jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, rivalries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Then turn again to the first cha 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 chapter of Romans you read. Romans 8. Romans 8. No, there, is no, there is therefore now. There is therefore now. No, no condemnation. condemnation. Yes. To those who are in Christ Jesus. To those who are in Christ Jesus. Who do not walk according to the flesh. Now. 
if we left it there, you'd be asking yourself, what are the works of the flesh? Scripture is complete. When the scriptures say uh, the, fle- the, w- the flesh and the works of the flesh, I've discovered that any time anyone is living a life, living a worldly life, a work of the flesh, that person is actually worshipping demon. He's actually worshipping the devil. Because all those works of the flesh, they are part of a worship to Satan. So I- I- if you do not run away from them, you can still be in Christ. One leg in Christ, but one leg we are in the flesh. There is now no condemnation. Somebody can preach a powerful message from that scripture. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Who walk not, and then you walk away, there is no condemnation. There is. If you live a life of the flesh and walk according to the flesh and do the things of the flesh, brother, sister, there is condemnation. You are still in Christ. You are still what? In Christ. I pray that you actually will go and study those two scriptures and prayerfully consider what the Lord might say to you. Even self-control is required. Self-control is what? Go to the first epistle of John. First epistle of John. First epistle of John. Go to chapter 2 and read verse 15. Epistle of John. Epistle of John. Epistle of John. First epistle, chapter 2, verse 15. What does he say? Do not love the world. Do not love the world. Or the things in the world. Or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is the not love of the Father is not in him. Woo, Shalaba. Read it again, please. Do not love the world. Do not love the world. Or the things in the world. Or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world. If anyone loves the world. The love of the Father is not in him. The love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world. For all that is in the world. The lust of the, the flesh. Lust of the flesh. The lust of the, the eyes. Lust of the eyes and, the pride of and the pride of life. Is not of the Father. Is not of the Father. But is of the world. But is of the world. Read on. And the world is passing away. And the world is passing away. And the lust of it. And the lust of it. For he who does the will of God abides He forever. that doeth the will of God abideth for. <laughs> Look at somebody. Say to him, you, you cannot say I did not tell you. Tell that to somebody. Say to somebody, say you cannot say I did not tell you. <laughs> You cannot say, I did not what? Tell you. So God will speak this way. Say, I give you life and I give you death. Choose life that you may what? Live. Brother, sister, everything that you are craving for in this world is passing away. Everything you are lusting after in the flesh is actually idol worship. And those who practice such things will never please God. God say, I wish you are hot, but you are neither hot and you are neither cold. I will spew you out of what? My mouth. Praise God. How many of you believe that is hell? How many believe that is heaven? How many of you believe that will be a judgment? How many believe that there are books that will be opened? If your name is not found in that book, you are going to hell anyhow. Don't say I did not tell you. From now on, our message can no longer be veiled. You didn't hear me. From now on, our message can no longer be what? Before we preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. Deliver yourself before the judgment. Judge yourself before you are judged. Put your life in order. Did you know that God loves a king so much? He went to him and said to him, put your house what? in order. Put your life in order. You have an opportunity. 
There is no repentance in the grave. You repent here, you correct here. The love of God is abundant. The grace of God is abundant. All you need is open your heart. Ask God for forgiveness. Put things right. Put things what? Right with God. Judgment is on the way. Judgment is what? Let him that sinneth continue sinning. Let him that walketh in righteousness, let him continue in what? One of our dicknesses is shaking our head. He's saying, no, they should not sin. No, let them sin. You, you mean they shouldn't sin? Pray now with me, everybody. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of sin over our lives, over our families, over our children, over our marriages. We break the yoke of sin in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of sin over my life, over my family. I break the yoke of sin over my mind. I lose myself and I declare myself set free, set free, set free, set free, set free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Church, I want to encourage every one of you. Those that want to get married, get married. But if you are not married, protect your life. Because judgment is coming. Judgment is what? That is what God has called. These ones are the works of the flesh. And these ones are the works of what? The spirit. I love it that even in the work of the spirit, one of them is joy. Somebody say joy. <laughs> one of my niece called me two days ago to pray for her. And I said to her, what do you want God to do for you? The mother was suggesting things. I said, leave her alone. She has a mind of her own. Let her choose what she wants. Hallelujah. She finally said to me, uncle, pray for me. I want to have happiness. <laughs> I laughed with her. We laughed. I said, but God does not give you happiness. How can I pray for God to give you happiness? God gives you joy. It is from joy then you can be happy if you really want to. Are you hearing me? You can, you can have joy and still refuse to be happy. <laughs> Hallelujah. But joy is so powerful that when it is there, it will produce happiness. It, it will produce the things that make your life look as if hey, you are drunk. Somebody said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I said to her, I'm going to pray for you. God will fill your life with joy. It means if God fill your life with joy, you'll be strong. You will overcome. You will prosper. For the joy of the Lord will become your strength. Hallelujah. Amen. When you have the joy of the Lord, you are full of power. You are full of energy. Nobody can stop you. You know where you are going. You are strengthened. You are built up. You are encouraged. You are unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I receive the joy of the Lord. I receive the peace of the Lord. I declare it is well with me. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Those watching us on the television. YouTube. Facebook. Wherever you are. Run away from sin. Jesus is coming. Judgment is on the way. You don't want to be left behind. <laughs> the trumpet of God will sound. When that trumpet sounds, hallelujah. Either you are a man of the world or a man of Christ. Either you are a man of the spirit or a man of the flesh. The flesh is lost after the spirit and the spirit is lost after the flesh. Choose which part you want to center your life. Live a life full of the spirit of God. A life full of joy. A life centered on the word of God. Somebody say, follow the scriptures. Hallelujah. Follow scriptures. Fear God. Give God honor due to him. Hallelujah. Bible spoke in the book of Timothy. said that in every house there are many vessels. Vessels of what? Clay. Vessels of what? Is that a first Timothy or second Timothy? Which one?
Timothy. Timothy, my brother. Uh huh. Second Timothy two twenty. What does he say? For in a great house. For in a great house. There are not only vessels of gold and silver. There are not only vessels of gold and what? Silver. Silver. Yes. But also of wood. But also of wood. And clay. And clay. Some for honor. Some for honor. And some for some for dishonor. dishonor. Yes. Therefore. Therefore. If anyone cleanses himself. If anyone. Hey hey. If what? Anyone. If what? Look at somebody say this is a choice. If anyone does what? Cleanses himself. Cleanses himself from the latter. From the latter. He will be a vessel for honor. He becomes a vessel of honor. Sanctified. Sanctified. And useful. Useful for the master. For the master. Prepared. Prepared for every good work. For every good work. If anyone, if anyone, hallelujah, if anyone, you are the one to make the choice. I'm not the one to make the choice for you. My job is to make known what you are seeing and what you are hearing. Hallelujah. After the teaching, after the preaching, if you hear it, but you reject it and continue in your own way, remind yourself that is something that is waiting for you. Judgment. If you harden your heart at the word of God and refuse to repent and refuse to turn around and ask God's help, but continue in your own way, hardened, judgment will come. And Jesus has warned you. He came on the people who were in the days of Noah. Is that correct? And the people also who were in the days of Lot. Is that correct? Even Satan we are talking about. Satan was a member of the heavenly host. He was cast out of heaven because he rebelled and hardened his heart against God. How many of you think that God will set aside his written judgments? No. Judgment will come. It has already started. The devil was cast out of heaven. His jealousy is that he was cast out. His rebellion and stubbornness is because he was cast out. And that's who he is. He cannot repent. But you, God, have given you a choice and a chance to what? Repent. Repent, brethren, and get ready. Nobody know the day or the hour. Run away from the works of the flesh. Run away from them. Run away. Praise God. I say run away. Run away. The works of the flesh. They lead to death. There is no condemnation for those in Christ who walk after the spirit. There is condemnation for those in Christ who walk after the flesh. Hallelujah. Somebody said the word of God cannot lie. Say it is settled forever and forever. In heaven. Amen. Put your hands together to the Lord. Anyone hearing the message, if you want to give your life to Jesus, let's pray with you right now. Just pray from your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you and I surrender my life to you. I put my trust in you. I welcome you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. Today, I repent from every sin I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Father, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your forgiveness. Wash me and cleanse me and deliver me that I may serve you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. I give praise and glory in Jesus' name. And the church of God said, and the church said, praise God. God bless you. we we'll see you at the same time. Amen. Welcome to the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. A new modern way to quickly connect with Bishop Simon's ministry. From access to extended messages and ministry products to streaming worship service, you can do all of these and more with the new Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. You can listen to Bishop Simon's messages on radio 24-7. Listen to latest or previous sermons. Follow us on social media without leaving the app. With this free app, you get exclusive access to events, updates, and message series from Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho. 
The mobile app is the bridge that connects you with the ministry's activities at any time, anywhere. You can watch 24-hour online TV and on-demand videos. Get straight to our website at just a click and send in your prayer requests. Take a step further in your journey with Christ. Download the Bishop Simon Ihia Nachos app today. Available on the Google Play and App Stores. Download it now.